Hey guys, we are here at Six Flags Magic Mountain for Holiday in the Park 2015. Uh, last year we came out for Holiday in the Park here at Six Flags for the first time uh, to Six Flags itself in many years actually. We'd stepped away from it and we were blown away, really loved it. We've been back to the park in general many times in the last year. We love how they've stepped it up in terms of their themed theming, uh, especially in the DC area where big superhero fans, particularly DC Universe fans, love that. But Holiday in the Park is pretty amazing, or at least it was last year. We just got here now. We're going to take you around the park, see some of the light entertainment that they have snow, carolers, light shows, and just beauty all the way around. Tickets are super cheap at Six Flags. You can even get a season pass right now as we're recording this for under $80 for all of 2016. Then you can come for Holiday in the Parks in December. In addition, they even have things like sipper bottle, drinks, free refills all year, 20 bucks right now. So all of 2016, you can drink for practically free, $20 for the whole year. So tons of great deals, tons of great entertainment, lots of fun with the theme that they've introduced to the park in the last couple years here. Let's take you for a look around at Holiday in the Park 2015.
Hopefully you like that quick little look at Holiday in the Park at Six Flags Magic Mountain. A lot of fun. This immersive environment is awesome. I mean, the word immersive is uh, overused a lot of times when talking about parks, but I can't think of a better word as we're uh, checking this place out today. Winter Wonderland in particular is one of our favorite spots. I got to say Winter Wonderland might be my favorite part of any Christmas event at any of the parks of anything we cover. Uh, I feel like I could just sit here from, you know, whatever, five o'clock at dusk till they close, which is only eight o'clock, pretty limited hours here throughout the season. But just kind of people watch, snow watch, light watch. It's really, really fun uh, and just a great place to be all the way around. Again, as we noted in the intro, the prices are amazing here. When we talk about this being a good event, it's not just a good event for the price. It's just a really good event. Um, honestly, if you're going to come and say, well, I want to do a Christmas event, a holiday event. I want to get in the holiday mood. Uh, should I head to Disneyland or should I head to Six Flags Magic Mountain? I would tell you to head to Six Flags Magic Mountain. And I don't think that's a typical answer that people would expect. I know it's not an answer that we would have expected prior to covering the event over the last couple of years. So highly suggest getting out here to Six Flags Magic Mountain, checking it out. There's no better way really to sell you on the park and kind of what they're trying to do here which is provide more value, provide more experiences without raising prices. It's something really rare in the industry, something that we see them doing right now at Knott's Berry Farm, and one of the things we really love about them, we talk about it a lot when it comes to Knott's, and I think it's important that we give credit to Six Flags as well. They made a big move in 2015 with adding Twisted Colossus, uh, now making another move going in 2016 with Revolution. But events like this, what they did with Fright Fest, you know, all of these things being non-hard ticket events, things that are just included in a regular admission price, huge kudos to the t entire team for putting this together. So definitely get out here to Holiday Inn Park, enjoy it, have a good time. We're going to wrap up, try and enjoy a little bit more of the snow before they kick us out of the park here at close. And so until next time, we'll see you in line somewhere.